English teachers. Let's talk about teaching listening. Before we begin, let's warm up our minds and think about how much listening we do. Do you think you listen more than you speak? Do you listen more than you read or write? What do you think? According to Morley, on average, we can expect to listen twice as much as we speak, four times more than we read, and five times more than we write. In our lives, listening is an important skill that we need to focus on. In English classes for young learners, there is an enormous amount of listening. It is the main source of communication for instruction between teacher and young learners. In fact, the main source of listening input is the teacher with instructions and demonstrations. Therefore, teachers of young learners have to be very conscious about their approach to giving students listening input. Also, keep in mind, children are not only learning to listen, but also listening to learn. Not only do they need to prepare for the listening activities in the book or materials they use in class, they have to prepare all of the language they will use. This means classroom language. We do not always take the time to prepare our classroom language carefully. We should prepare our speech very carefully for our young learners. Prepare your instructions or explanations in short, understandable language. Use simple words and phrases. And always be ready to repeat and rephrase when needed. Sometimes people think listening is a passive skill. You can't see if someone is listening by looking at them. However, there is nothing passive about listening. It is an interpretive skill. As language teachers, we have to find ways to make listening active in the classroom and be sure our students understand what they are listening to and find ways to check their comprehension. So, how can we make children's listening more active? One way is to check comprehension with a variety of response types. Let's brainstorm. Get a piece of paper and a pen to write down your ideas. So what can young learners do to show their comprehension during or after listening? I'll give you 10 seconds to write some ideas down. Time's up. If you want more time, just pause the video. Here is what I wrote down. Listen and point. Move. Raise your hand. Perform actions. Color. Draw. Make. For example, you are teaching the parts of the body. Students can listen and Point to a body part. Point to your feet. Point to your eyes. Point to your head. Sometimes you can make it more fun by giving students a partner and they can point to their partner's body parts. Point to your friend's head. Point to your friend's feet. You could also have students listen and draw a crazy animal. You can say, draw a small square body, draw a big round head, draw one big eye, draw two big arms, draw four small legs. Draw one small mouth. Then have students show you their picture. It's a fun way to make listening active. 
Remember, always give your young learners a listening task. Every listening activity should give young learners a purpose for listening, and better yet, a task to complete. All too often, teachers will say, listen to this, and then sing a song or play a tape without giving learners a task or a reason to listen. Young learners have short attention spans and can't always focus themselves on a learning activity. Instead, teachers should say, listen and then fill in the blank with an appropriate task. For example, a teacher could ask students to listen, then point to the correct picture with three pictures of different contexts to choose from. If the students know they must point to the correct picture after listening, then they will pay attention to the listening in order to figure out which picture is right. It will focus them on the listening and make them more active in the listening process. Now you know how to keep listening active. Always give your young learners a task. Remember to tell them to listen and do something to show they understand. And don't forget, prepare your classroom language carefully. Your students are not just learning to listen, they are listening to learn.